Hello, this is Rakesh Rao from Design Sense Software Technologies and in this video I am going to show you some of the import export capabilities in GeoTools. Under the export menu there is an option here called import export points and lines. Using this tool you can import or export data from CSV files or tab delimited files and create either linear or point objects in AutoCAD or BricsCAD. This is a very comprehensive command and therefore I am going to show you a series of videos which show you different aspects of this command. In this video we will focus only on importing point features and let us see how we do that. So the first thing is you need to specify the file name. So in my case I have a file called elevation small dot csv and you can look at this file here. It's a simple csv file with the first field as a point number followed by easting, northing and the elevation. So the format is PENZ, point, easting, northing and elevation. So that is what I have specified here as the format. You can choose any of these existing formats. For the moment these are the supported formats but in future as you can see we have an option here called define format by which you can define exactly any custom format that you have. Now the next thing that you need to do is choose the exchange mode which is either import or export. Like I said you can either export data from CAD to CSV files or you can import data from the CSV file. In this case I am going to choose the import option and I am going to choose object type to import or export as point features. Create point features as points, points and text, blocks or text. So the incoming data can either be created as points or blocks or text whatever you want. So let us do a simple way first. Let us choose this as point and if you choose point you don't have to specify a lot of other things. So let me leave all that as blank. Just click on OK and OK once again. So this file has 5000 points and it's now importing all of them into AutoCAD and it's done. So I do a zoom extent and you can see that I have imported all the points and if I list the points you can see that it has its x, y and z as per what you saw here in the CSV file. Now that was a simple workflow which just imported the points. Now let us see if you want to import it as blocks with attributes what do we do. So we start the import export command once again. I go back to options. So instead of points I am now going to choose blocks. Now when you choose blocks you will have to specify the block name. So by default this one is clicked here which means use description as block name. That means if you have blocks points with different descriptions and if you have a corresponding block for each description you can use that. For example if you have a lamp pole or a uh, street light or you know post box or whatever whatever you have you can use that but in my case I don't want it that way I need I want to specify the same block each time so I'm going to choose my block which is called point block now this is a simple block which contains four attributes easting northing description elevation um, so I'm going to choose that here now I need to populate the blocks as they come in so I'm going to choose the attributes option here which is store point descriptions. So my block name is point block for attributes, description attribute is desk, point number attribute is ptnum, elevation attribute is elev. So these are the attributes that you can specify here. Whatever attributes you have you must link it and match it with the appropriate fields here. Click OK. OK once again. So now the command is running with the blocks import. It takes a little longer than importing just the plain points because obviously it has to create the blocks, it has to populate the attributes and so on. But you can see at the end of it you will get a neatly attributed block. So this command is capable of handling large data sets very easily but if you want to 
first test the command and make sure that your parameters are correct and your results as I, as intended it's advisable to work with small data files data sets first and then move on to larger sets so that is the output of the program it's a block this time and you can see that all the attributes of the block whatever we have selected have been already populated so point num is taken from the csv file the elevation is taken from the csv file description easting and northing are not populated because that is not uh, description is not available in the file easting and northing are not yet populated by this command but we have another command here called update coordinates block so using this command you can populate the eastings and northings so for example i'm going to choose the east attribute for easting the attribute for northing and elevation is already done so i don't need to select that so i'm going to select all the blocks so this is just a small side command i'm showing you by which you can populate the easting and northing of blocks as well so once you do that you can see that the northing value and easting value also are populated in the blocks okay so i have shown you the command impex this is called the gt underscore impex command as you can see it's here in the export menu and in another video i'm going to show you the other options like export linear features and so on thank you